Hi everyone, it's Julianne here and welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with one of the cutest cards that's a part of my 2020 Christmas card making series. I'm going to be using two of the cutest stamp sets from Avery L, the Peekaboo Polar Pals, and the Peekaboo Christmas Train stamps and die sets in order to create this slimline Christmas train card. I just can't get over how adorable these images are and I love that all of the Avriel Peekaboo collection can all be combined together to create a unique card. To start out my card for today, I am going to be stamping a bunch of images from each of those stamp sets, and I'm going to be stamping all of them onto a sheet of Expressive Blending cardstock using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, since I am doing some more Copic coloring today. Once I have all of my images stamped out, I'm going to start working on my coloring, now there definitely is a lot of coloring going on for this card and I tried to only use a few colors since there is so much going on with this card. Now for all of my coloring I will make sure to have all of the marker caps off to the side of the screen so you can follow along if you're interested in any of the colors I'm using today. And I will also be jumping around and doing a lot of the coloring off camera in order to save some time in this video. Now that I've finished all of my coloring, I did use the coordinating die sets for both of those stamps in order to cut out each one of my images. Now to make sure that my dies stay in place, I do just temporarily adhere them down to my cardstock using some washi tape before I run them through my die cutting machine. With all of my images cut out, I'm now going to start working on what will become my background. And for that, I'm going to be doing some ink blending using some distressed inks in the colors Blueprint Sketch, Chip Sapphire, and finally Black Soot. To start out, I have trimmed a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock to 3.5 by 8.5, which is slimline size, and I've placed that on top of my waffle flower media mat. And I'm going to start out with my lightest color, which is going to be that blueprint sketch, and I'm going to be adding that to one of the sides of my panel, and this will become the bottom of my scene later on. Next, I'm going to come in with Chip Sapphire, 
and I'm gonna be adding that color to the other side of that panel, making sure that I blend that in with that blueprint sketch. Now, in order to make my night sky a little bit darker, I'm then gonna come in with that black soot, and I'm just going to be adding that to the top of the panel directly over that chip sapphire. Now, to make sure that I get a seamless blend between all of those colors, I'm gonna come back in with chip sapphire in order to blend out that black soot, and then I'll come back in with Blueprint Sketch to blend everything in together. Now I have to say, I really do love working on this Waffle Flower Media Mat. I recently got it, I think I got it right around Black Friday when it was on sale. And it makes cleanup so much easier, especially when it comes to my ink blending. Now if you've watched any of my older videos, you know I'm definitely not afraid to ink blend directly on my work surface, but I have to say this is definitely a really handy tool to have. So once I had finished all of my ink blending, off camera I did end up splattering my background using some white paint to make it look as though it was snowing, and then I just set my background off to the side to dry. Once it was completely dry, I'm then going to start working on assembling my scene together, and I'm going to start out by adhering my ground, or really I guess you could say it's a snowy hill, and for that I used the Honeybee Stamps Slimline Border Dies to cut out some white cardstock, and I'm going to be adhering that cardstock down to my background using some liquid adhesive. Next, I'm gonna start working on adhering all of my images down to my background. Now, I really need to apologize. I didn't realize that my camera wasn't recording as I was adhering each of those train cars as well as a few of the images down to my background. So I don't have that footage to show you, but just like all of the images I'm going to be adhering now, I did adhere each of those using some of that liquid adhesive. And when I adhered each one of those cars, I made sure not to adhere the top part since I am going to be tucking in each of the images behind them. So once I get each of those critters along with the presents and the trees all adhered, the next step is going to be remembering to adhere their cute little feet. And you want to adhere those outside of the cart on top of them to make it look as though they are peeking over those train cars with their little feet hanging off the edge. Now it was around this time that I remembered that I needed to add a sentiment, and I really didn't have a lot of room on where I could put it. So I just placed my background panel back inside of my Misty, and luckily I'm gonna be able to stamp out the sentiment Happy Holidays along the bottom of my scene using some more of that Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And this sentiment is from the Peekaboo Polar Pal stamp set. Once I have that sentiment all stamped out, the last step in completing my card is I'm gonna be scattering a bunch of snowflake confetti mix pieces that are from Twiddler's Nook, and I'm gonna be adhering each of those down using some more of that adhesive, and again, I'm just gonna be scattering those all over my background. Once I get those last couple all adhered, that's gonna complete my slimline Christmas scene using the Avery L Peekaboo Christmas Train and Polar Pals stamps and die sets. I just love how this card turned out. It is just so cute, and I really didn't want to give it away. I hope that you like this card just as much as I do. And if you did, and you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below, as well as subscribe to my channel for even more card making ideas. If you're interested in any of the supplies I used, I will have them all listed and linked down below in the description box. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time, and happy crafting!